What's up everyone, Silas back again. And uh, I got a pretty good subject for you guys today. It's actually gonna be a three part series. Um, and it's about the dangers of alcohol. So today we're gonna talk about how alcohol affects the brain more specifically uh, than anything else. Alcohol also affects your body and it affects your spirit too. But we're just gonna talk about the brain today. Um, this is some juicy stuff. Not everyone's always going to be ready to hear this kind of information. So, you know, if you don't want to listen, don't listen. But uh, if you want some some game on how to really help your health and help your mental stability, uh, this, this might be some positive information for you to hear. Um, so I'm just going to lift off, list off some facts here right off the bat that uh, are pretty, pretty significant. Uh, so... How it affects the brain. So it blocks neuron signals between brain cells. So that's what causes the feeling of intoxication is those neurons being basically dumbed down and slowed down, which, you know, causes impulsive behavior, slurred speech, poor memory. Um, heavy drinking for extended periods will cause uh, Overactivation of neurotransmitters in the brain, which can cause dangerous withdrawal symptoms and damage to the brain cells. So if you binge drink for too long, uh, or you just binge drink once, the withdrawal symptoms from the hangover the next day is actually destroying your brain cells. So the pain that you're feeling is literally parts of your brain being destroyed. Um, let's see. Different types of damage withdrawal can cause. Neurotoxicity, so like overactivation of uh, neurons to neurotransmitters. So we have neurotransmitters and neurons. Neurotransmitters, I don't know the exact science behind it. It says it blocks and damages neuropathways in the brain, which can cause burnout among neurons, which means they're just, it renders neurons useless. Um, so that's, you know, a hangover is a withdrawal. It's the same thing. So any hangover that you have is damaging neurons in your brain. Any single time that you have a hangover, it's not just like a one-time thing. It's not over extended periods. It's like, you know, you drink too much one night, you have a hangover, you're, you're damaging your brain. You do it again, you're damaging your brain again. You do it again, you're damaging your brain again. It's a repeat process. Brain matter itself is also damaged by alcohol use. So literally your brain matter, you know, what your your brain in and of itself, not just the chemicals, like the organ gets damaged. Um, let's see, alcohol dependency leads to brain shrinkage, which is both gray matter and white matter uh, are reduced in volume. So gray matter is the cell bodies themselves and white matter is the cell pathways. So you've got the pathways that lead to the neur neuron receptors, and then you've got the neurons themselves. And if the pathways get destroyed, then the neurons have nothing to travel through. Parts of the brain related to problem solving and memory are often most damaged by alcohol due to the vulnerable, vulnerable parts of the brain. So like these are the most vulnerable parts of the brain is the parts that um, are have to do with problem solving and memory. Those parts are very easily damaged and that uh, that damage can be accentuated and over exaggerated with alcohol too, and it can increase the damage. Uh, with long term untreated impairment, it can lead in alcohol related dementia. So, you know, if you drink too much and you're constantly intoxicated, it can lead to dementia. It says here it's a uh, makes up about 10% of dementia cases in total. So like alcoholism, uh, so, you know, 10 out of every 100 people who have dementia, it's caused by alcoholism. Uh, and it also seems to be a factor, a factor in about 30% of all dementia cases. So cognitive deficiencies are made worse by malnutrition and uh, especially with vitamin B deficiency, which is actually shown to be pretty common in alcohol dependency. So if you're malnourished and you're still drinking alcohol, you're lowering your vitamin levels and you're, there's, you know, in the next video, I'm going to talk about the effects that it has on the body and your hormones, which is also another huge factor. Uh, 
Yep, so malnutrition and heavy use, this is the icing on the cake. Malnutrition and heavy use can lead to serious impairment in memory and speech issues over time. This can potentially result in a permanent cognitive disorder called wernick korsakoff syndrome, which causes amnesia and can lead to a coma if it's untreated. So, if you're an alcoholic and you drink alcohol all the time, what, is these, what are these facts telling me? It's telling me that with heavy use of alcohol and binge drinking, you are likely to damage your brain every single time that you binge drink, every single time that you have a hangover, you're taking one step closer to getting into a state of dementia. And with heavy repeated use, such as alcoholism, along with combination of being malnourished and having vitamin deficiencies, it can lead to dementia. It can lead to a coma. It can lead to low brain function, low memory, and low, low abilities to solve issues. You know, there's not going to be any real cognitive function because if you fry out all your neurological pathways, there's nothing happening in your brain. Your chemicals get all screwed up and it makes it very, very hard to function normally and to think normally. And that's just the effects that it has on your brain. The next couple videos, I'm going to be going over the effects that it has on your body and on your spirit too. And those are two like big subjects that alcohol has to deal with as well, just besides the effects that it has on your brain. So that's that. Stay away from this shit, in my opinion. I, I like to drink once in a while. I can't say that I'm innocent of it, but it is dangerous. It is very dangerous. It, it, it can be detrimental to the health. And it not only that, but it affects our decision making and it affects the way we act. It affects our our day-to-day -day lives when we drink every day, you know? So just keep that in mind too. Overall, it also has to go back into alignment with what I've said in my previous videos is like watching what you put in your body, right? So this has to do with alcohol too and how incredibly dangerous it really is in comparison to even, you know, things like tobacco and cannabis. Alcohol can, can kill you easily. The withdrawals can kill you, you know? You can get alcohol poisoning from just drinking too much. You can get nicotine poisoning, but that's kind of a challenge to reach that point. And you can't OD on cannabis. So, um... You know, just just be careful and really keep an eye on this stuff because it's dangerous. Alcohol is detrimental and it will damage your brain if you drink too much and you are not paying attention to what you're putting in your body. It will destroy you. That's all I really got to say about that, you know. I've seen the effects of it on some of the closest people in my life. And it never fails to amaze me the negative effects that it has over positive effects. I have really yet to see any true positive effects from alcohol, so. Anywho, thanks for listening.